Hey, what's up, buddy? This is Hell Buddy again, and welcome to my first my SQL tutorial of storage engine. I saw many questions online, so let's just get things start. The first thing is how to create storage engine type. Actually, it's very easy to create it. So when you log in your PHP my admin on the left hand side panel, so you can see my I already created some database. And uh, or maybe just click on your local host databases, and then I will choose user this database for our this tutorial example, and uh, you can see I have several of the tables in there. So let me start to create a new table. So uh, click on uh, SQL, and then uh, create table. Uh, let me put um, testing. For this new table name, and uh, put on open parenthesis and close parenthesis. So I just uh, make a very very easy simple table. So I have to put the ID. INT doesn't mean integer, not known. And I this this uh, ID would be auto increment. And I put a comma, and also I put the name for the watcher for five character and a comma and uh, I put the primary key so you see the primary key I put ID this is the ID and this primary key so uh, the ID would be this table uh, primary ID I mean the primary key engine is equals to InnoDB okay right here uh, before I click uh, okay, so uh, I, I let me uh, take a little time to explain about the engine type. So when you check on my uh, Helbody blog, I provide the link right there. The link is um, about my SQL storage engine's detail. So right there, they have many, many different types of the, the storage engines with their feature functions. So yeah, better to take a look to choose which that uh, I mean, the which uh, engine you want to use, and the second thing, um, let me copy the statements. You can check which engines are available in your local host. So put show engines, and then click go. Okay, right here you can see the InnoDB status is default. And some my SQL system will be choose my ISAM to be default. So that's mean in case you didn't choose any engine types to your create table. So that will automatically choose the default one with it. Otherwise, just put the engine types. That's what you want. That's very easy. So right here, I just want to make the sample to you and then click go button. But before that, because I know my statement that should be correct. So, by the way, if after done, um, I mean, uh, make the new table, I want to show my table engine's type. So what that means is uh, this is totally different between uh, I use show engines that before I show you because um, the show engine just uh, show the engine, which engine available in my local host. So what I have to do, I need to use show table status from this um, uh, the user data database. So uh, that's uh, that's mean I it will show the, the engine types in this database. So let me click on the go button. Okay, you can see I got the uh, successfully message for creating a new table, and you check on very the uh, bottom line. The new table testing I already created with the InnoDB engine type. What's the second question of how to convert storage engine type? That's also very easy too. And um, uh, we have to use outer clause. So outer table testing, the table name is testing, engine equals to this time I use my ISAM to be this example. And also after done uh, the statement, I want to show the table status 
from this um, database. Uh, I put show table status from user. And then let me hit go button. Okay, you can see now tables testing changed to my iSAMS engine type. The other question has always happened. Why engine happens error from InnoDB to my iSAMS conversion? That would be many reasons to cross error. But let me show you one of the typical errors. Now I do have the uh, table name as call member. And I already make the column name call message. Uh, I am going to uh, uh, make this columns uh, to be a full text function. So what I need to do is I have to make the member table uh, change the engine type from InnoDB to my iSAMS engine type because the, uh, my iSAMS engine types can support full text function. So let me do the outer cross outer table. Uh, this is the name called member. And I changed the engine, so I put engine equals to my ISAM. So just a simply, uh, uh, let me do that and uh, uh, click the go button. You see, I got the error message. The number is 1217. Cannot delete or update a parent row. A foreign key constraint fails. So uh, what's going on? So let me check the create table detail. So type show create table and put the table name, this name call member. Click go button to show the create table. And you can see I got the detail from this create table member. And I find now one of the column address ID, it carry a foreign key. It's the time to check out the table structure for this example. Database user has the table names called member. And member carry the foreign key of address ID. But address ID, the foreign key maintained to the other table name called area. By the way, I have to remind you before you decide to drop any key on a table, that because you have to consider the thing is it will impact the accuracy of data retreats between the parents to child tables. You are better to check out the storage engine features detail, such as my iSAMS engine won't support foreign key. I can't use double engines on the same table. It's unable to use the single column message to be my iSAM, but based on the InnoB DB. The only thing we can do is create a new table with using the other engine type. Let me give you the real world example. For a car, it might be have different engine parts. However, it would be only has one single main transition engine to maintain the auto parts. It's really confused and complicated to have two engines to run a car system. So before I create a new table, so I have to uh, drop the table if it exists. So um, now I do drop table if it exists. I make the table name call message. I put underscore one. Uh, just uh, you know, uh, in my single statement, you cannot make anything have space. So I put an underscore to maintain the name. And then I create table message underscore one and uh, open parenthesis. Let me do uh, close parenthesis. I just want to make very, very simple table. Uh, I also put the ID, integer. Uh, this time I put 100, not known. It's also auto increment. Comma. And then uh, I put titles for another column. This column for voucher, 100 character, and comma. And I, uh, and the other column would be message. This this the column I will put text function for for, uh, for getting uh, string value, and 
the primary key, uh, this primary key ID, yeah, put the ID in this primary key, and also full text, I put the full text function, so full text index, I, I put a uh, uh, titles and message, okay? So that would be almost done, and so uh, the last thing is I have to choose the engine. The engine type is my ISAM, so um, that would be it, so let me check one more time, and uh, I have to copy this in case if I get any error message, so um, okay, let me click the go button. Okay, I got the um, you know the message. Make sure your job table if exists, so you click OK to confirm. Uh, I didn't get any error message, so that means I already created a new table message one. Okay, uh, the next thing I have to ins ins insert the values. So let me paste back uh, the statement that I already make it. Uh, let me type insert into um, this table message one and so I do have three columns on this table the first one is ID the second is title the third one is message so I, have, I do have there's three columns and um, but one thing the first column ID because I make it this is auto increment so uh, I don't have to worry about the numbers. So right here, I just delete it. That's because uh, it would be assigned a uh, new ID automatically. So I just want to skip this part. And now I just delete all the things. So I just want to easy to show you, show you guys how to do that. So right now I have to put the values. And um, let me think of it. I put the open parenthesis. The first thing, let me see, I do hello. Hello for this. Uh, title um, yeah the, the hello this is for for title column and uh, the second values let me paste I just do something weird message like blah 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 something 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 and um, uh, this stuff this uh, text ring for a message column so um, if I after that I want to select everything so I put select uh, as the risk from this table message one so that would be it. I just make very simple I click go button so you can see uh, I already make I put everything in there so I also have the, the uh, ID number automatically the other typical error sample is why errors converts from my ISAM and in DB so let me just choose back the message one table that I already create and also use the outer clause again so our uh, elder let me put elder table um, message one message, message underscore one uh, choose the engine type engine and this time I choose InnoDB for this engine types conversion and uh, let me click go button Okay, this time I get error message. The number 1214, the use table type doesn't support full text index. So, um, yeah, just let me do it again. Uh, show the uh, create table. Show create table. Table. Um, message one. Okay, just um, show everything. I already make the like the statement. So I just uh, yes, make sure I, I yeah I already did the full text key. Did you remember on the title and message? So just uh, check back the InnoDB storage engine features detail. It supports full text indexes available in my SQL 5.6.4 and higher. So uh, go back to PHP my admin and click the home button. And you can see my database server version is 5.5.31. So that means my version is lower than the requirement 5.6.4. Um, you have better to do, maybe you can go ahead to create another new engine type table instead, or you can go ahead to update your database server to the newest version. How to convert data in SAFE with multiple engines? 
please watch my next part two tutorial.